Hey YouTube. Thought I'd do a cigar review for you today. This one has been given multiple 90 plus ratings. It is the Oliva Siri G. Beautiful flavors. Cedar notes. A little bit of a grassy note. It's been in my humidor probably for a month or so. Little unexpected retro hail. Just got started, it burns pretty quickly. But it's one of those you can let sit for a few minutes, then come back to. Drinking some black tea with it that is really, really good. Love tea. It's so underrated in the American society because all we drink is coffee. Coffee and more coffee. Not that coffee's bad. I love coffee. But it definitely is something that is underrated, especially when it comes to smoking cigars. If you can find the right tea, that is not overpowering unless if you have a full-bodied cigar it works really well it opens up the palate and it doesn't wash over the palate or stick to your palate so you get a lot of good flavors from the cigar this cigar specifically um, is in the Toro size, so it's a 6x50. Um, and you're probably going to range around your 7 to $9, depending on where you go, to get it. It is a really, really good cigar. Um, anything from the Oliva line, I think most of you out there who are cigar smokers would love. They've got the nubs. They've got their Cane series, which is full Hero. They've got their Daytona series, which is a full of Hero, but at the same time has a lot of flavor to it. They've got their G series, their O series, their Oliva V series. All of these are really good. They range in prices from about seven at the lowest upwards to 10, 15, depending on where you go. Um, I know that they've got a V series that is in a double perfecto, I believe, or even the Lancero series that um, still a part of the V line can run you anywhere from 12 to 20, depending on your tobacconist. These are certainly a box worthy cigar. Uh, something you will want to grab and hold on to for a while. When you pull this out of the cellophane, it certainly smells a little chocolatey, mainly cedar, woodsy. A lot of people call it a mulch smell. But that I consider to be like a mulch grass. I like to call it the wet leaf smell when you're hiking and you're out there after a rain, you wake up the next morning, dew's on the ground, it's rained overnight, you've got this packed leaf that you'll hike on and when you hike on it, it just brings out this smell of beautiful, beautiful woods. Um, 
I specifically love that smell when I'm smoking a cigar. It's got a great room note to it. Um, the smoke is not overpowering to the smoker, nor is it really overpowering to the members around you who may not enjoy the smell of smoke. It's really good. Great flavor, good size. I actually recommend this size over, I believe they do a Robusto line, a Toro line, and a Churchill line. The Churchill, when it gets down to the final third, gets a little muddled in its flavors. I feel like it's because all the tar has moved back. When properly aged, the Churchill may actually bring out more flavor because there's a lot more tobacco there. But this is a great cigar. I definitely recommend you guys going out there and getting it. And I hope that you will try the Oliva G soon. Thanks for sticking in and watching with me. Until later, keep smoking.